Yesterday, the Braves scored four first inning runs against the Red Sox. Highlighted by the Matt Olson two run home run. By the way, five of Olson's 11 home runs have been in the first inning this year. That hot start propelled them to a 9 3 win. This team is now 25 and 11 overall. They did just lose Max Reed for a bit to the DL or the IL. They now have seven and a half game lead over the next team in the National League East. They're so dangerous offensively, and they come right at you at the start of the game. How about this? 32 first inning runs in 36 games. Second in all of baseball behind only the juggernaut Tampa Bay Rays, who played one more game than they played, and they lead all of baseball, the Braves do, in home runs in the first inning, batting average, and slugging percentage. The numbers are there. The production is there. They get off to a great start. You look at that 32 first inning runs for them uh, kicking it off. And so what do we make of this? The great start. They come out of the gate scoring a lot of runs, Sean. What do you make of this offense? Why are they so good this? Well, time? I think they're first off they're loaded. They, they they have you know great players up and down that lineup. I think one thing, Steve, as from the from a hitter's point of view, especially nowadays in baseball with these bullpens, I think these guys are talking saying, hey, listen, we got to get out, get out the gates early, score some runs, make sure we get to this starter, make sure we have that aggressive mentality where we can get to this starter early, so that we don't have to get to that bullpen. Th th these bullpens nowadays, you know, if you can get that starter some length and set up that that bridge to the closer, I think I think the guys' mentalities nowadays are just a lot different, and that, it is a big deal to get out early. Yeah, I, I take a step further. I agree with everything Case said. I think it's an organizational philosophy. I think when you look at Atlanta. Uh, and look at the Rays in particular, you know, and we'll put up a board here. They hunt the first and second pitch more than any team in the game. Look at the Orioles. We're having a very good offensive year. And look at their numbers on the first and second pitch. So I, I think there's a mentality organizationally, philosophy-wise, of saying we're going to hunt early, we're going to hunt hard stuff early, and we're going we're gonna to be very, very aggressive early in the count. I believe in that philosophy. I wish more clubs would do it. I think we'd see more offense within our game. Very technical. I like that. I think it's simple. They have a great top of the lineup. Acuna, Olsen, Riley Murphy, hard to match that. I saw in that graphic you had the Braves, the Dodgers are on there, the Angels are on there. The one team that's missing that I would expect with that great top of the lineup is the Padres. They're the one team that's underachieved at that top of the lineup with Soto and some of the others. but. I would expect it with those teams. You know, Johnny, thinking about that with San Diego, think about how patient some of those, like Soto yeah, exactly sees more right. pitches per plate appearance than anybody in the game. And I think it's that mentality. Machado sees a lot of pitches, whereas Acuna's a very aggressive hitter. Olsen's aggressive hitter. Riley's aggressive hitter. I mean, they, they have a lot of guys that have a mindset of being aggressive. And I do believe that's what the Braves uh, preach. Yeah, it's kind of a contrarian thing now, right, because we've always gotten in that habit of, Whoever's the most patient, like the Yankees were the most patient last year. They scored a ton of runs. That's been a key to winning. And now maybe it's better to go the other way when the other teams are all being very patient. Well, what's interesting about it is that these teams that score early also have a great winning percentage. So scoring first gives you a 67% chance of winning the game, right? When you score first, you have a 67% winning percentage overall. The Rays at 92%, the Braves at 85.2%. But you look at the winning percentage, you look at that, and you think to yourself, okay, well, this is a copycat league, and if this leads to this kind of success, then why aren't we all trying to score first? And so the logic being, I remember back in the day, Jim Leland and the Pirates, they'd get a guy on, Jay Bell would bunt him over, they'd get him in. Now, that's old school baseball, the sacrifice bunt, but the idea of doing whatever it takes, Sean, to score mm -hmm. first in a game, yeah. why don't we see teams more aggressive and trying to just get that one run on the board? Yeah, you know, because I think the bunt is a dinosaur. You know, I think the sacrifice bunt has, has become really a dinosaur. And I think the, the, the game's all about hitting the ball at the ballpark now. And when you have a lineup, like these, the, the horses that they have, and Acuna and Olsen and, 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 all, and Riley and all these guys that they have, you know, they're trying to hit the ball at the ballpark. But I think it is a mentality thing. With players and the way the game's played nowadays, I think it's a mentality thing of really trying to get that first pitch heater and, and do some damage on it. You know, Steve, I, I think we lost a whole generation of how to play offense because when you talk about the, the Pirates, that's how to play offense. Scoring for running on third base, less than two outs, how to play offense. I told the guys in our, in our meeting, if I ran an organization again, believe it or not, I'd eliminate sack bunting, but I'd institute bunting for base hits for everybody in the lineup because I think it creates 
more of an aggressive mindset where you're not giving away an out. You're athletically trying to get a hit. I think the success rate would be so much higher. I think if you do it properly, it's probably the most indefensible play in the game, and it Case, creates so Case much just, action. Case is raising an eyebrow thinking, dude, I can't bunt for a base hit. Yeah, forget could. that. Forget <laughs> that. that. We've, We've got, got to run for him. <laughs> exactly. It's a double hand but you know what? If I with, get out. with his eye-hand coordination, he'd be able to bunt for base hits easily if that's what his focus point was coming up Thanks, in, the, Dan. in the Indian system. It yeah. really would have been. So, anyway, I think that's why. I think managers don't ask players to do something anymore they don't think they can do.